Okay, now this one um, combines several elements. So we've got, let's say, multiple ropes. We've got two ropes. One has a tension of 600. The other has a tension of 490. And um, what we need to try to do is to figure out what's the combined effort of those two ropes. And so we're going to think about each rope as a force vector, and then we're going to add those force vectors together. Okay, so step one um, is that we got to figure out what the force vectors are. Um, and so this is just like the last video in that sense, because we know the endpoints of the rope start to finish um, and for both of them. So I've worked that out there already. So our, we've got uh, beginning point A, end point B gives us the vector AB. And then beginning point A, end point C gives us the vector AC. And I went ahead and got the magnitude for those um, as well. So to get a, a vector description of FB, the force of rope B, then we're going to use our unit vector trick. So we're going to end up uh, saying that FB is going to be that magnitude value, 600 times some unit vector. Now the unit vector it's going to be is unit vector AB. Okay. And so we need a unit vector for AB. And so let's get that real quick. UAB. Uh, minus 2, 4, minus 4, minus 2, 4, minus 4, and it had a magnitude of 6. So my unit vector for AB, okay, so I've got minus 2 divided by 6. So 2 over 6, that's a third. So I've got minus 1 third, and then 4 over 6 is 2 thirds, and a negative 4 over six is negative two thirds. Okay, so to get my FB, we're gonna take our 600 and we'll pass it in to minus a third, two thirds and minus two thirds just like that. And um, so what we end up getting for FB then is minus 200, 400, and minus 400. Okay, so there is FB. Uh, we got to repeat this for uh, to find F sub C. So same song different verse. Now this time our unit vector of course will be AC. So we got to go get that unit vector. So the unit vector AC is going to be minus 6, 3 minus 2 divided by 7 and um, So that gets us minus six sevenths, three sevenths, and minus two sevenths. Okay, I'm going off the page a little bit there, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, and plug back in here. So F sub C, that's 490 onto my unit vector, minus six sevenths, three sevenths, and minus two sevenths. There we go. And so FC then turns out to be minus 420, 210, and minus 140. Okay. Now, th that's not the end. <laughs> that was step one. Okay. So uh, step two is super simple. And step two, we're just going to uh, add these things up. So the resultant 
it's just going to be F uh, B plus F C. Okay. That that's all there is to that right there. Okay. So that's really trivial once you get your force vectors defined. Okay. And then I'll let you handle that one. Just add up the X components, add up the Y components, add up the Z components. You've done that many times by now. So all that should be um, secondhand to you. Okay. All right. So um, let me just finish by saying that um, when you're working these things out, okay, um, I'm trying to sort of model for you a way to lay things out. Okay. So I'm going to say this a lot. You're going to hear it a lot, but keep your problem orderly. Okay. If you, if you're working out your solution in an orderly way, it's going to help you think about it in a more orderly way. Okay. Messy paper, messy mind. All right. We don't, we want to avoid that. All right.